dearly beloved loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ are you well because the Lord Jesus loves you is speaking with you daily but shouldn't you speak with him you should pray and meditate on the scriptures it isn't enough if you simply listen to walk with Jesus for three minutes you should give time for him and sit with him did you see this as a sign of prayer this praying hand has been placed over here in the 40 year of the Jesus redeems ministry as a sign of how great the Lord's faithfulness is how faithful our God he is this has been placed over here it has been 45 years since the ministry was started the Lord has been faithful the God who called me is faithful the reason for all his ministry is his faithfulness he promised and is faithful to it he called me and is faithful to lead me even if I am unfaithful at times he is leading me as a faithful God I remember it and praise him continuously now do you know what word the Lord gives us in Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 18 a man of God says like this yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will joy in the God of my salvation and that is we should always be happy we should rejoice in the Lord this is the Lord's desire are you happy are you joyous isn't that why the Lord speaks with you why then should you be sorrowful I have lost my job all of a sudden I have lost my source of income I have debt problems nothing is happening how can I be happy do you know what this man of God says in the previous verse I'll read it listen to me though the fig tree may not blossom nor fruit be on the vines though the labor of the olive may fail and the fields yield no food though the flock may be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will joy in the God of my salvation so did you see what does it mean that is if we see the list he's making even if I lose everything that I own and stand on the street like a beggar I will rejoice in my Lord I will joy in the God of my salvation and what does it mean more than all this he is my joy he who died and rose again for me he is my joy he being in me is my joy is this joy present in you if Lord Jesus is there with you if you receive the experience of his salvation you will have joy in the God of salvation this is the true joy this is the true joy that Lord Jesus Christ gives you should receive this joy in your life that is why he shed his blood on the cross sacrificed himself for us and saved us that is the greatest privilege that we get through his sacrifice on the cross so if you haven't been saved until now say Jesus you should come and live in my heart I need that joy of salvation whatever happens in my life I should always be happy and rejoice you should say so that is the true experience of walking with Jesus okay if you haven't received that experience place your hand on your heart and say Jesus be with me forgive my sins wash me by your precious blood live inside of me I should always rejoice in you Lord I should be happy regardless of what happens around me I should rejoice in the Lord give me that experience in the name of Jesus amen amen